Financial news you can use is made possible by University Credit Union. Welcome back. I am Holly Love. This is Trip Mitchell. And coming at you right now is financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union. Take it away. Okay. The most controversial bill coming out of the state legislature this year uh, by far and away is the change in the blood alcohol limits for DUI. And essentially what they've done is lowered the alcohol li limit to 0.05. The lowest in the country. Lowest in the country, but not lowest in the world. A lot of other major countries have that. And if you've spent a lot of time in Europe, people do not drink and drive in Europe. It is just one of those things where people just don't do it, though they consume a lot more alcohol than they do in the United States. And they have better public transportation. That's the big one. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about this the other day. Uh, you, Utah does not have access to that in the same way. So for instance, if you go out to dinner, if you're a tourist, if you go to a, a jazz game. You have to rent a car. It's not like you can just walk or you can, you know, grab. So we have a lot of challenges. So on one hand, obviously cutting down the number of fatalities, injuries, accidents, it, it is a noble goal to try to cut that down. No on question side, about it. Yes. On the other hand, Utah has a stigma of being a weird place when it comes to national and international perception. I mean, really? just the, that's shocking. I had no idea. The 2002 Olympics went a long way to changing that perception. And I know, as someone who lived here for a lot of years, came back for the Olympics, uh, radically different feel than when I moved out of state in '88. So that perception is changing, and it, it's resulted in a ton of money, about $7 billion right now, tourism in Utah. Mm -hmm. One of the stats that's amazing, over 70% of the people who come to Utah for the first time just for the ski snowboarding industry come back. It is great money. Tourism money we is wonderful. Yep. Now, can this bill affect tourism? The experts seem to say yes. Mm -hmm. So 0.05 if it keeps away conventions, you know, we've already yep. knocked away the outdoor convention, mm -hmm. uh, huge loss for the economy. Yep. Is this bill going to change things? People in the hospitality industry feel that it really will. Mm -hmm. On How the other hand, in the life side of things, I mean, you have people in general who, if you just live here and you want to live here, real estate wise, all of those things. Um, you want to go out, have dinner, even just have one drink, and you have to take a Lyft or an Uber, you have to. Now, again, on the side of positive, Lyft, Uber, taxis, they're happy because it's like you're really forced to. So not only are you affecting tourism, but each and every restaurant that alcohol, mm -hmm. you know, not to get too inside baseball on what it takes to run a restaurant, but your food costs are typically quite a bit higher than your alcohol costs. Alcohol allows a lot of restaurants that might not be able to break even to not only break even and make a few bucks. Mm -hmm. You're going to change that if 20% of people decide not to go out to restaurants. How's that going to affect things? Now, obviously, we have to do some smart things when it comes to laws. But when you pass a law, there are unintended consequences. And this is one that could affect a lot of people's jobs. And the last thing that Governor Herbert and the state legislature wants to do is put people out of work. Quick question before we go. He made mention that he's going to sign it and then we're going to figure it out later, basically. Um, what are the odds that when he figures it out later, we could have some hope that this might go away? I mean, what does that even mean at the well, end of the day? When seven years ago yesterday, okay. President Barack Obama signed the Health Care Act okay. and said that we're going to look at things later to try to make it better. Okay. That hasn't happened. The Republicans failed in trying to get new health care through. Mm -hmm. So the point I'm making is that a lot of times when laws are enacted, that's it. Mm -hmm. They're there. Yeah, so don't know. open a restaurant. That's my financial I know, advice. Right? This is like such a bummer. It's good I had such a uplifting tip. Coming at you now is a financial tip of the day from University Credit Union. Here you go. Hi, I'm Becky Schwendeman, Vice President of Operations for the University Federal Credit Union. Do you like to eat? I know I do. We are currently offering two times rewards on all restaurant and grocery purchases. This means two points for every dollar spent at our grocery stores and restaurants. Come in today and apply for your rewards visa. University Credit Union, local to Utah, loyal to you.